Welcome everybody, welcome to Homestead Heart. And in today's video, I'm going to show you all what has happened to a few of my tomato plants. And I think I know what's responsible. Yeah, y'all stick around. All right, you all, so I came out this morning and had a look at my tomato plants. And look at this. Do y'all see this? Just look at it. Now this is just since yesterday. I came out to put some diatomaceous earth around my plants. Look at this. Just look at that, y'all. Now let me show y'all. Look at this. Look at this one. Just eating down to a nub, right? Look at it. All right, you all. Do y'all see him? He is the culprit. He is the reason why my tomato plants look the way they look right now in just a day in just a day these tomato hornworms look at them these things will destroy your plant in just a day look that's one right that's one right check this out let's look right here how about right here? How about him? That's two on one plant. Two on one plant. Now, yeah, I'm going to take them off. And they're going right over to my chickens. See here? That's one. There. I'm going to come up here. And that's two. One plant. Two hornworms. And you see how well they hide. I mean, just walking by this plant, you can't even see them. Just walking by. But they will destroy your plant in 24 hours. They can take out your tomato plants. Look at this one. Look at this. Okay. Yeah, let's take him off. Look at him. You don't like that stuff, do we? No, he's upset. Okay, you all, so I brought them in the barn where it's cool at because my camera can't take the heat. It'll shut off in a minute. So just look at these things. And even on the leaves, still, he don't want to let go of the leaf. Look at there. He still don't want to let go. Look, he ain't going down without a fight, right? So no, these things, I mean, just look at them. And that's just the two, oops. That's just the two that I saw. Okay, that's just the two that I saw, and I'm pretty sure that these are not, they're not alone out there doing this work. I'm sure that they have family members out there <laughs> that's out there destroying my tomato plants. So I'm going to tell y'all, yeah, I have a lot of tomato plants. I don't remember how many, I think I have like 40 something tomato plants, but y'all, this is the reason because just because you start 40, that don't mean that from seed to table, all 40 is going to make it. Some of the seedlings, that, look at him trying to escape. Now just where he think he, get yourself back over there. You know, all of them might not make it. You know, some of them might not make it from that itty bitty seedling stage, right? And then some may get disease, some type of a... Um, uh, uh, soil born disease or anything like that take them out and then you put them in the ground and then you have slugs that can eat them up from when they're very very small and then you have these guys you got to worry about too so it's so many different factors that can go against your plants so yeah if you want to make sure you get a good harvest just plant more than what you need I dare say plant double what you want if you want 10 squash plants, well, 
plant 20. If you want to get 25 tomato plants, wear a plant 50 because you never know if they're going to make it or not. They have so many different things against them when you put them in the ground, right? So, yeah, this right here is a problem. I'm going to go back out and search for more of these hornworms. And the ones that I find, yes, they are going to be protein for the chickens. All right, y'all, that's going to do it. I'm going to take these guys out to meet Big Red, Silky Smooth, and the rest of the crew. And I'm sure that by the time I'm done checking every leaf of my tomato plants, that I will have more for them to enjoy. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. my birds they don't it's hot out here you know it's hot when they don't want to come outside hey y'all oh look he don't want to let go he don't want to let me go this joker don't want to he still don't want to let me go man get off me <laughs> well yeah yeah she got him yeah she got him they got him they got him they got him let that be a lesson to the rest of their friends. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching Homestead Heart. Do all you can to protect your tomatoes from that hornworm. That joker is, he will devastate your tomato plants overnight. Thank y'all again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to you all. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and please hit the notification bell so you don't miss one single video we post to the channel. Peace and blessings again. We'll see you in the next video. More hornworms to find. <laughs>